King Cobras. Gonna have some sister cousin brothers up in the house. You know? Let's go put her in your new home. Hell yeah, this thing's eating like a little champ. Open your daddy. Jake from Snake Farm. Here, get your insurance for all your snake needs. Good morning! Hello! Good morning! Oh. Are you so happy? Oh. Good morning, YouTube! Good morning! Hi, cute baby! Oh. Are you ready? Say, are you ready for today? Let's go! Ready? And now! Good! morning my friends how the heck you doing well it's good morning for me i don't know what it is for you guys but hey chaka man how are you chaka man good morning chaka so we got a lot going on today and i got a little tiny backhoe that i rented getting dropped off and we're fogged out this camera in the morning my house is so freaking cold that when i come outside it gets all foggy not ideal but look at this guys look at this cute little machine we got today look at this guy oh he's so cute hello tiny man look at this little cute backhoe he's so tiny might be small but this thing is really gonna help out with today because we got all sorts of things to do i got a fence to build plants to plant and a gator pond to dig oh yeah look at this one of the coolest features about this thing oh cup holder baby yay oh yeah let's go shut up here we go we got brandon taking care of the birds out there we got to get this thing all the way over there where's my baby well i know i sit on this chair right here put this down like that right i hit this little chicken my bobber right Ooh. here <laughs> like this little jigger my bobber no nope that's not it nope 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 not that nope I don't know how to do this. <laughs> how long have you been out here trying to figure out how to turn it? You gotta call him, you got my phone. <laughs> oh no, you got, you got the camera. Right here. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I turned it on, I know what the <laughs> hell I'm doing. God, I'm always making fun of me. I got holes to dig, all right? <laughs> it's so slow. Oh, look at that, man. This is making life work of this. I gotta clear out all this crap. You see how this is all open? Now that we're gonna have the gator enclosures right here and just like more stuff. I don't like that there's so many cars that drive by, so I wanna put a, we're putting a six foot bamboo fence. We're gonna zip tie it to this freaking fence right here. And then we're gonna plant all those Calusia all along the edge, cause they get like freaking like 20 feet high. You won't be able to see in here at all. Oh yeah. You. Now we got Abe finally helping right here. Look at that. Yo, check this out. So, bamboo, six feet tall. Calusia, we're gonna go down here. So nobody can see what the hell we got going on over here. So while they're working on that, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna switch out this bucket to the big 30 inch. And then we're gonna start digging this gator pond. Now, while they're finishing that, dude, it's looking so good over there. Shut up. So look, you can see the orange spray paint on the floor. Need to make this thing as safe as possible so no little arms can go through the fence and get ripped off by an alligator. Gotta make sure my daughter has a nice, safe environment, even with alligators outside. And hopefully her friends will learn as well. Obviously, safety is number one over here. We're gonna be teaching Ryder everything that she needs to know and all of her little friends that come over. So we gotta make sure everything is very, very kid-proof. All right, Gianna's taking over. So all right, you ready? Trade in place. So I'm gonna go take care of the baby. You can do this. All right. So you gotta put this down. Right down. All right. Now check it. No, that's that's to move. So this backwards, forwards. You just want to operate this. Look. See this goes that way. Just move them and see what you do. Look at that. Now you pull it towards you to scoop it. No, you gotta scoop it. No, push push it to the left to scoop. There you go. Now pull it up. There you go. And now put it over there. There you go, look at that. Now move that, move your right joystick right to open it. There you go. Yeah, we're pretty good. Yeah, look at that. Now go back, it's like a video game. Now scoop up some more stuff and just keep dumping it in the pile. Oh yeah. Helping your daddy? Hey. To build these gator pods. All right, there we go. All right, now we're gonna push it down like this. Go like that. And scoop it! Scoop! Scoop it, scoop it, scoop! There we go! Scoop! There we go, dump it! Dump it, dump it! Ow! Oh, this is so cool! Oh yeah, look at how that's coming. Ooh, real nice. 
Would you look at that? Oh, not bad. So look, you can see we hit water. Only four feet deep, and we're already getting water coming up from the bottom, which is great. Because we're going to be doing a natural pond. I had Kyle and Ryan come over, over from Primitive Predators. They got the best setups that I've seen so far. So I really wanted to get Kyle's opinion, most importantly. He recommended that I do the walls. So we're going to put those seawall things on the side. That way the gators cannot get out and they can't erode the sides of the walls. Because then every like six months I would have to go in there with an excavator and redig the ponds because they're going to be filling it back in with dirt. So we don't want to, we want to make sure that that's not going to happen. We're not using a pond liner. We're not using the clay. We're not doing any of that stuff. We're doing as natural as possible, okay? And then obviously the eight foot perimeter and the five foot inner perimeter fence will be installed in between. But we got way more stuff to do today, guys. This black throat monitor that I have on the patio, that rescue that we rescued that maybe like, I don't know, a few months ago. We got these other two cages from Joey. This one right here, we're gonna put that black throat in. About to clean off this back patio section. Put Onyx's cage right next to her cage. That way they can just get a little bit more acquainted with each other and not be able to actually like mess with each other. They'll be able to see each other, be right next to each other, but not be able to like, I just don't want him attacking her or vice versa. And then we gotta do some snake stuff as well. These baby eyelash vipers, me and Gianna were outside the other night. We caught a bunch of lizards. You can see this one still has one because we put a couple in there. They've been smashing lizards like freaking no problem, which is great. Thinking about making a rat trap video soon too because we got this crazy mouse slash rat problem over by the birds they live in those stinking palm trees and dude I'm not kidding there's a family of like 30 of them they're eating super healthy they're eating bird food all day so I literally I can do like a catching video and then just feed those little guys to the alligators and get rid of my rat problem who wants to see that comment down below these are some baby chicks that just hatched out a couple days ago Two of them hatched here, and then the other three I'm surprising Gianna with. Look, we got another little Gobbles right there. I'm so freaking excited. Gobbles is becoming one of my favorite birds that's on this property. She's just like so freaking sweet. She's no drama. She's just, dude, I love that bird so much. The reason why she's so nice is just because I spent so much time with her when she was a chick. I used to hang out in the garage every night. Smoking, you know, smoking some stuff. So we spent a lot of time together. So the bond with her is just awesome. She loves to cuddle with me and run up to me. Dude, she's the greatest bird that I have. I never thought that turkeys could be so personable. And we got a mini split for the snake room. Finally, I'll be able to regulate that snake room a lot better. This mini split is gonna be an absolute game changer. Oh, look who we got here. Oh, hey. Yo, we got Jake from Snake Farm. Here to get your insurance for all your snake needs. Who remembers Jake from Snake Farm? He's over here to visit real quick. Let me get this cage put together right now. So let's fill this baby up with some mulch. Cage is perfect, man. Thank you, Joey. Good old vitamin D. They don't really get a whole lot of sunlight being so inside my patio so I really want her to just be out more and just be as active as Onyx is and grow faster as well so we're gonna level this out and then we're gonna go take all of the uh, the grapevine and stuff that we have in there and put it in this so this is the female you guys haven't seen her in a while I need to start taking the monitors out more and showing you guys we're actually gonna move my albino monitors all the visions are going in that snake room we're taking all the non visions out I'm talking with Brandon about it this morning those cages that they're in I just don't like them they, they just hold way too much more Moisture, the humidity is just terrible. There's not enough airflow in those cages at all. So we're gonna put them in visions again because the visions just have so much airflow on the top. It just really makes a difference for them. Even though it's a high humidity animal, I just wanna have them, having them in the snake room, seeing them every day and being able to work with them every single day is really gonna help with their temperament. This is the female black throat. That was a rescue. She was bought and then kept in a little tiny tub for her entire life. She's probably about maybe a year and a half, two years old now. So but she's finally got some good weight, some decent size, and she's real cute. So we're gonna move you outside to your boyfriend, let you get some natural sunlight, and it's gonna be great. So I'm actually gonna keep her in the cage for now. I'm gonna move these pieces of uh, branches first. That way she's got all of her nice little hide spots. She loves this piece of wood right here. She likes to sleep inside of it. Put this in here, a nice little stick to climb on, make it nice and secure. Boom, pretty much it. Pretty basic, give her a water bowl. Let's go put her in your new home. Sun is out, we got some sunlight, get some heat. 
Look at that. Very, very nice. Right next to Onyx's cage so they can see each other. Look, they're already checking each other out. Onyx is like, yo, what the heck are you? And she's like, not anytime soon, dude. You got a couple more years before you're allowed to bang her. Now I actually got to run to the airport real quick. Time to feed some snakes. First, we got to feed this baby Gabina who's been eating like a champ. I think she's had maybe three meals so far. And I don't want to feed it too much because Gaboon Vipers and Rhino Vipers and even Puff Adders. Puff Adders are a little bit more resilient, but if you overfeed these snakes, you can kill them. So you got to be really, really careful at first. And not only do you have to be careful about feeding them, you have to be very careful with temperature. They do not like it hot. Having them hot, it doesn't kill them immediately, will kill them eventually. All right, let's see how this little baby is doing. Give you a nice meal. No, take it. Are you hungry? No. Come here. Take it. There we go. Just like that. Delicious. Hell yeah, this thing is eating like a little champ. So we got some poop to clean out of here. Just before we wrap it up, I want to show you guys, Rusty, if I can figure out which freaking key this is. I need to color code everything. I bought some fingernail polish on Amazon the other day to color code the keys. And it like didn't dry right. It's all sticky and weird. I got to figure out. I don't know what the hell I'm looking for, guys. I need to find a better nail polish. Maybe I didn't shake it up enough or something. I don't know. Russ just ate the other day. My buddy Franklin came by to film a video, and so we decided to feed him on Franklin's channel. But uh, yeah, he's looking real fat. We're gonna take him out right now. And another thing I wanna show you guys real quick, let me see if I can find it. We got a couple new tools from Midwest Tongs, of course. Thank you guys so much. Dana is the man. So this is actually that new giant hook that they just started making. I don't know if you guys remember, this is the Python book that Midwest made back in the day. And this thing was awesome, and I actually used it before for the rattlesnakes and my king. But this hook is just a little overkill for kings in these rattlesnakes. Actually, it's decent for the rattlesnakes, but this thing is awesome. You can get it in different lengths. You can get this hook in different widths. This one right here is a four and a half inch hook. Dude, it's just, it's freaking awesome. They're not heavy. Even engraved my name on it. So freaking sweet. Got another hook I'll show you after I do this. But this hook is great because I can just go in. It's got a big enough hook for Rusty because he's getting real thick as you can see. And I could just go ahead and grab his midsection just like that, boom, get him out, and everything's good to go from this. But just look at how freaking gigantic Rusty has gotten. Like, he is freaking massive. Look how thick he is. Huge, so freaking thick, look at this. Absolutely crazy, look. Like, he's thicker than my forearm now, which is awesome. Just getting so big. They're the best snake in the whole freaking world. All of 12 foot. Maybe even bigger than 12 foot now. It's crazy. All right, so let's get him in the can. Get his cage nice and clean. Man, he is freaking getting heavy now. He's probably pushing 20 pounds. Nice and clean. Get my guy. His cage has a fresh fluff. How big he is, man. I remember when he could barely even fill out this trash can. It's just getting gigantic. His scales are almost the size of my freaking fingernails. Go ahead and get my boy out. Yep, there we go. It's okay. You're all right, sir. Say hello to Kilo. He's not lunch. Just look at this. How freaking big. This King Cobra is. He's massive. Where did my little Rusty go? He's so big now. I love this freaking snake. Look how strong he is, dude. Dude, he's stretched out a good four feet right now. Almost parallel to the floor. Such a strong animal. There you go. Nice new cage. Look at that. Big boy. Freaking beautiful, dude. He's gonna be so massive. He's not done growing yet, guys. I, I know for sure, but his dad was massive. The king that he came from is in South Carolina, and he's a 14 foot plus king. So there's no reason why Rusty is not gonna be 14 feet. He is going to be gigantic. And then hopefully, maybe next year, towards the end of the year, we're gonna try to breed him with Shatid Fire. Fingers crossed. We'll get some baby Rusties before you know it. Gonna have some sister cousin brothers up in the house, you know what I mean? I'm sure some of you watching are sister cousins. I'm just kidding. I know people don't do that, but people do do that. Real weird. Second cousins, twice removed, stepbrothers, 
all sorts of weird things going on these days. And that is it, my friends. We conclude today's video of all sorts of things. Lots of projects going on. Dude, I got like six or seven projects going on right now. The Gator Pond is gonna be freaking epic, but lots of work, lots of money, lots of time. The Quaddy enclosure eventually. Dude, we need the aviary here. I'm working on getting a bunch of cinder blocks to kind of build up the new bases of that. I want to have this place ready enough for you guys to come do some awesome tours. But before that can happen, I need everything to be like zoo quality over here. So I'm working on all the enclosures and stuff. It's just take some time and take some money, guys. So until then, support your boy, TylerNolanTattoos.com for all of your merch. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate each and every one of you. I really need to post something on the members only page soon. I know I haven't done it yet. I've just been so freaking busy with everything and trying to put regular videos out, but I really need to do on that. I really need to get on that though. So until next time guys, love you. Later. Follow your dreams. Peace out.